hopefully for good. Oh, for sec Are you freaking kidding me with this gamepad battery being dead? Like, I thought this thing was plugged in. What are you doing? Why is this stream such garbage? I thought this thing had been plugged in for a long time. Apparently not. Hold on. Give me a minute. Okay. So, the reason the sound was still terrible is because OBS likes to reset constantly and make the black ma magic audio go directly into the stream, even though it shouldn't. So, yeah, the audio quality still sucks. Um, I tested it without actually streaming first. So, I think it's the second HDMI cable that's giving problems. I could verify this by... Uh, trying to switch, maybe. I'm not really sure, but, uh, I'm just gonna have the audio going through the gamepad at this point. It's easier. Again, it, it's low because it's coming through the gamepad. That's the best you can, that, that's the best you're gonna get. So, anyway, let's, uh, I mean, I probably would have played it even with the crusty audio, but this is slightly better, I think. It's a little bit, uh, jank, but it's... I usually just have the audio come through the microphone out of the TV anyway, so... Not really a problem. So anyway, I'm just gonna do a couple super expert runs, probably. I have to go to work in two hours, so I can't do this for too long. And then it turns out the servers are down. And I won't be able to play anyway, because at this point I would not be surprised. Game. Okay. Uh, let's just start a new one. Let's just see what hot garbage we get. No, they're not going down immediately. I just... I always have luck with the servers not working when I play this game anyway. Like, almost every time I stream it, they go down at least once. Death 2 by Jonah. Oh boy, I didn't know Jonah had this game. Kind of looks like him, too. Oh, okay. Well, it's definitely super expert. Thwomp on every one of these? Yes. Pick a pipe. And win the prize! Oh, good bomb excavation. My favorite kind of level. Uh, okay. I guess I just wait for them to open the path to the checkpoint then. The checkpoint that is decidedly not even connected to the wall. Oh, shit. This isn't gonna work. Uh, uh oh. Alright, let's try that again. This time moving the bombs a little bit to the right, I guess. Um, I feel like I've actually shown off all the levels I've made, like, a dozen times, but I could look at at least a couple of them. The problem is, like I said, this is probably the last time I'm streaming this. Then again, I don't actually know if I'm gonna be getting Mario Maker 2 straight away. It might be a while before I actually do. So, uh, I could do another stream of this at some point. I'll just be, like, that one asshole that refuses to update. Okay, there we go. Oh. <sighs> I think I want to take this hit. Yeah, Tomodachi life's kind of dead. I don't know if I'll ever be going back to it, honestly. I, I wanted to, but I, at the same time, I kind of at this point have personal reasons not to. So, I like, I don't know. Oh my god. This is... This is some shit. I think we're skipping this one. I never said this was no skip. That was just tedious.
stare at this screen for a couple hours. All right. Uh oh. Do I have to do a shell jump, or what is this? That's a shell jump. I am not good at that kind of stuff. I have watched many levels with those kind of things be done, but I've never done them myself, and I don't want to learn. Not right now, at least. Okay, this one looks like I might be able to handle that. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I might be able to handle this dead. I am apparently really bad at this game. Doesn't help that I've not played it in a long time, but still. Yeah. Oh god. Oh. See, I thought that was gonna land in the gap and that I could spin jump off of it. That didn't happen. I don't have to drop it in midair, do I? Can you even drop out of a spin jump? Stop that. Why am I getting so much forward momentum? Oh my god. I feel bad because I watch... I watch Carl and Pooh play this all the time, and they're, like, really, really good at the game. And every time I see them do a hard level, I'm like, Oh man, that looks awesome. I bet I could do that. No. No, I can't. garbage. Let's just keep seeing what we get. I don't know how you're supposed to do that. Tigers. Oh god, speedrun level. Of course we have to have the laughing faces. What are we doing? What are we doing? What? Can you even make that? Okay, hold on. I have an idea. No, I... Okay, I, that was very imperfect spinning anyway, but... Uh, let's give this a couple more tries. Yeah, no. No thank you. How many of these are we gonna skip? I would like to beat a few levels. Even if I don't beat all of them. Okay, this one maybe... Fuck. <laughs> See, I thought that was gonna be one of those ground pound to get extra height tricks. Okay, um... Double jump? No. God, how the fuck do you do that? That is the ground pound, isn't it? Ugh. Okay. <laughs> now what? Leap of faith? Okay. Ugh. Ba, ba, ba. I don't like this. I don't really like... Okay, hold on, that's a... Sp how do you... Hold on. I know you can spin jump through a wall jump, but how would that get that far? There's gotta be something else down there. Okay, yeah. Ugh! Why didn't he jump? And then ground pound at the top, okay. So far, this one might actually be beatable. Favorite Mario Maker channels, Carl Sagan 42, Grand Pooh Bear. Those are the only ones I watch. Ah, uh, fuck. I know of a few other names from the community because of the levels that they play, but those are the only two people that I really watch. Um, I don't know of a Ryu, actually. Alright. 
Alright, so we want to drop. Oh, good. That's not what I wanted to do at all, game. Yeah, I don't think I've heard of Rio. I know who Juzcook is. I've at least seen him in other people's videos, but I don't think I've watched his channel specifically. I want to try and stick with this one, because so far this seems like the most reasonable level I've gotten. <sighs> Fuck. Isn't there a way to cancel a ground pound? How do you do it? Okay, you press up. No! I didn't mean to fall. This kind of sucks. Okay. Let's at least get to the bow section again. Now I need to not land on the bomb. And we need to spin jump it into the little cave. And then we'll be good. Or we'll die. I don't know what I need to hit the pow block for, but I'm assuming I need to hit the pow block. God damn it, Antline. This is uh, one of those streams where the chat isn't going to be in the visuals, so... Fuck off! Why is this thing always exactly where I don't want it? Okay, I gotta jump a little bit further. I hate not knowing where the bomb is. <laughs> I don't think I really need to give thoughts on Etika. Like, he died, and it sucked. Like, I feel bad that it happened. But I didn't really watch him, so I don't have a majorly personal connection. Alright, let's go. Okay. That's why we wanted to hit the pow. I didn't see what was at the bottom there. Okay, so triple jump into spring, potentially. Fuck! No! Why did I... Oh, that sucks. I haven't played this in so long. This level doesn't seem that bad. I just need to be good. I have beaten Super Expert a number of times in the past. Keep that in mind. I'm not, like, completely awful at this game. I promise I'm good. Oh, shit. Go! Okay. What the fuck do you want me to do? Do I have to ground pound into the spring? Like, what? I think this is gonna be my last try, and then I'll just... At this point, I'm... Just gonna kinda take what I can get. Okay, fuck it. Like, I know there's actually well designed levels in Super Expert, you just have to find them. And we sit here and load for a while. Is that level code the one I just did, or are you giving me one to play? Because I don't really have enough time in this stream to do viewer-submitted levels. More Japan. Never know what to expect with these. 
Also, that guy looks like a Zelda NPC. Man, the load times. Hmm. I think the moment that I started the stream and had the like super crusty audio problems and everything, this stream was not destined to work out well. Deet dot. Deet dot. dot. Beep 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 beep. Okay, no. Uh, I never actually built any stages in Ultimate. Alright. I don't like the idea of using the touch screen on that without a stylus to make a stage. I feel like it's not going to end up, like, turn out well. Well, we got our 100 lives back. We can try again. Isn't there a way to skip this? Why does it only let me do it sometimes? Okay, it played the screen closing in noise, but the effect didn't actually happen. What is going on with this fucking game? Oh my lord. I guess we're not playing Super Expert, or probably any stages at all. Can we reset? Like, good fucking god. This is why I never streamed Mario Maker, because it always does this. Every time I stream this game, it does this. What do you need to prepare? Uh, um, I watched, like, half an hour of Vinny play Cadence of Hyrule and then stopped watching. I didn't really have much of an opinion on it. It looks okay, but not anything I really care about that much. Okay, we're gonna give this another shot. I know it's not gonna work, but we're gonna try. And then... I guess if all else fails, I'll just look at my levels. <laughs> Which is stupid, because I've already shown those off a bunch of times, and most of them aren't even that good. Did I watch the debate last night? What debate? Uh, I don't want to stream more Banjo-Tooie if Joel's not here. I could stream uh, Dobetsu no Mori, or whatever it's called, Animal Forest on N64. Uh, yeah, if you stay if you stay 500 seconds on the title screen, you uh, just get a time up and die. It's nothing impressive. Nope. Okay, this game does not work. That's kind of garbage. All right. Well, let me, uh, let me load up my shitty remixed version of my Raccoon Tail stage and see if I remember how that stage works, because I, uh, I don't think I ever uploaded this. It's basically just the same as my regular Raccoon Tail stage, except really trolly. Uh, no, I didn't beat Banjo Dreaming yet. Okay. Let's see if I actually remember how this level works. Oh, right, I don't actually want them. Wait, no, I do want the mushroom, because I have to get the... I have to get the tail. No, they didn't shut down the servers. They're probably just overloaded. Oh, good. I didn't realize that was going to happen.
I do like this stage, or at least the original non-trolley version of this stage. Uh, how do I do this part again? This isn't even part of the trolley. Like, this isn't even the trolley part of the stage. I'm just trying to remember, in general, how you do this. Oh yeah, you get a bomb up here. Hold on. So yeah, well, I do want the mushroom, and then... It... No, do you... How do I not remember how to do my own stage? This is... What the hell? Okay, hold on. No, I don't even need the tail for this part. You just, you grab the bomb, you do this, okay, then you do this. Yeah, SMB3 is probably the least used of the themes. Oh wait, no, I don't want that mushroom to spawn, hold on. I need to get this one before the other one spawns. Then this becomes a tail. I get that. Then I need to... Do... Okay, now in the original level, you... Do this. And get a mushroom to go over here. And then, like, go through the saws. But, uh... In this version, you have to do it this way. Oh, shit. I think I've already messed it up. Uh, okay, let's try that again. Hold on. This level is extremely particular in how you do it. Also, I'm probably going to time up. Fuck. Come on. Okay, then do that, then take damage. Go over here. That's the only way to preserve the raccoon suit over this way. Open up power block. Open this. I like number two is drink milk. It's a stupid inside joke. All right. Let's not die. Not dying is good. Wait, how do I keep the pow block, though? Because as soon as I go through the door, it's... Ugh. Okay, I think I have to re-grab the pow block later. Or can I just bounce up? I love how little of this stage I remember. Yeah, okay. I need to I need to kill the Goomba and then grab the power later. The milk will win. Okay. Ooh, this is good. I frickin' caged myself in. Okay. I'm actually stuck. Okay. <laughs> well, let's restart the stage. Now that I remember what to do at the beginning. You want to shoot one? Thank you. Did not realize you could softlock yourself in this level. I tested the shit out of this thing. But, uh, I never thought about that. <sighs> I mean, it's like they say, the, the best, uh... The best way to test a level is to give it to somebody who's never seen it. And uh, I apparently forgot everything about it, so that kind of counts in this case. Alright. Let's try this again. Now that I know I don't have to actually grab the power block yet. Ooh, can I hit that one again? No, I gotta wait for that to go. Again, I'm waiting until it gets to the trolley part, because so far this is all normal. The plan for the stream was 100 Mario Challenge, but that didn't quite work out. Wait, no. Why am I losing that on purpose? Because I have to go back for that, so yeah, this is fine. Um. No, no, hold on. I'm a moron. I, I, can, I can just take the power block through the door. Why did I not think about that?
Again, I, I don't remember this game's mechanics. Okay, how do I get back up? I know there's a way to do it. I forget how, though. Uh, hold on. I'm thinking. I think I have to use the other pile block as a stepping stone, so I am going to have to backtrack. Okay. Well, this guy... There's nowhere to build up pace speed. Okay, now this section is hot garbage. Also, I messed that up. So I need to do this in a very specific way because I need to keep the tail on the right side of the level. So you do this, then I'm thinking. I think you just need to be quick. Come on, crap out the Nope. Messed it up. God, how do you do this part? I'm trying to think, how the fuck do you do this part? You grab a second shoe, that's right. Okay, hold on. So you do that. No. Okay, you do this. Grab the shoe. Do this. Send it across. Grab a different shoe. Take it over. Use invincibility frames. Get the shoe. Okay. Now this part... I'm probably not going to remember, because it looks like this is just the end. But it's not. Um, so now I need to... I don't actually need to keep the shoe. And I don't think I need the either, actually, after I get these items out. So yeah, you get the K-Switch, you leave it. Then I think I want to take intentional damage after I free the star. Okay. We got the first POW block. We're getting there. I need two of these. Plants are called munchers, yeah. I'm gonna match this up, but I'm gonna try my best. You'd think I would remember my own stage, but I don't. Okay. Now let's get the tail again. Then I should be able to just... There we go. Grab the other one, which apparently requires damage. I do like calling them dick clams. It's a good name for them. Alright. Except, wait. Shit, how's this gonna... I think I did mess this up. Because now I'm not gonna be able to keep both POW blocks. Unless I can get the other one again. Because right now I'm carrying the one that I needed to bring back. So the other one's going to despawn. Also, and I think I fucked myself. Okay, so let's pretend that I did all that correctly. Because I obviously didn't. What you're supposed to do is, when you go through the level, you take this POW block through the door, and then you keep it over here. Then you, like, set it down here so it doesn't despawn. You do the shit that I did, get the other POW block, bring it back. Your goal is to get both of the POW blocks over here. So you do that. Then, uh... Hold on, let me... I need to get a... I need to get another thing over here. Okay, so pretending for a minute that I did the level correctly, you do all that shit. Then you need to leave these right here. So that you can go into the pipe. Fuck. Stop it! Game, please. Okay, you get into the pipe. Now, 
We have our checkpoint, and now this is the Kaiser trap. I'm gonna show this off, because it looks like you're supposed to go into this pipe, but what happens is you go in here, and then it does this, and then you just fucking die. <laughs> so, if you don't do that... Um, I think you're supposed to break them anyway, and then go in here, and then... Do you go back in? No, okay. So yeah, you do that, and then... You have to go into this pipe. Now, bomb excavation, I think? Why were those Lakitus there? I don't even remember. Oh yeah, and this is a, uh, this is a pipe that you can only enter while small. So... Um... Yeah, we need to do some bomb excavation. But I think it has to be done in a specific way. If I remember right. Okay, yeah, you do this. So then that way, the cannon can shoot. And now what I need to do is... I have to grab one of these, but not wear it. Because if you wear it, then you can't actually beat the level. You have to <laughs> go back up here while holding it, take intentional damage so that you can fit in the pipe, and then you use it to escape. And I think I'm fucked, because I think I needed to be small. Okay, hold on. Um... Yeah, I don't think I can actually beat the level now, because I... Uh, okay, yeah, I needed to get that helmet and then not get big, because the trick here... Let's pretend that I got the helmet. It's awful because I wanted it to be. Like I said, there's a normal version of this level. This is the trolley version. So now you have to go through the entire level with the helmet again, except now you can't ever lose the helmet or else you can't beat the level. So you just kind of go through it somewhat normally. I think if I get the flag, I can't beat it. Because I think I need to remain small. Actually, maybe not. I don't remember. Let's see. Let's let's try with this, because normally if you were playing this level, you would have the door open already. But I did have to make it beatable from all checkpoints, so it does require you to be able to do that. So let me do that. These power blocks aren't supposed to be here. Do this again. Oh, good. Right, I forgot that you can't jump through saws when you have this. Oh, right, you're safe that way. Okay. So that's how you beat the level, sort of. I didn't do it correctly, but you got the point. <laughs> Good shit. All right. Um, what other stupid levels do I have? I could try going into the, uh... Goomby. I could try doing my terrible costume palace level again. See if I remember how that one works. Let's actually do Time Machine. Time Machine was a cool level. I've not played this one in a level in a while, so I might not even remember how to do it. This is, uh, in comparison, a very straightforward level. Oh, wait, no, I did want to be there. Yeah, I'll show off the Action 52 level again after this one. Because that one was pretty good. That's probably my favorite level. Actually, no, this is my favorite level. 
Basically, I have three good levels, and then, like, one or two kind of shitty ones. And then that's basically it. The other ones were all made by Martin or my brothers. Oh, and there's Canonical. We gotta try to beat that one, too. Let's not forget about Canonical. Okay, I want to take this to... Spring, I think? I actually kind of like the boss. I don't think that ever got featured. I feel like this level is really well made, but my other ones are kind of trolly. I spent like freaking two weeks making this stage. <laughs> Winter? Yeah. I forgot there's two hidden one-ups in every season. Gotta get all those for 100%. I actually thought about remaking BA2 within Mario Maker. I know that was a joke comment, but like, it was something I actually thought about doing at one point. I'm probably not going to do it, though. Take power block to summer. And we take spring to spring. And yes, that was fully intentional. Now, I think I have to intentionally lose, lose Yoshi here, and, yeah. Like, this end part, uh, th th I think probably, like, one of the most interesting things of this level was the uh, arms race that went on between me and someone who had world record in it. I forget what her name was. Um, because the original version of this level could be cheesed and beaten in, like, 20 seconds if you knew what you were doing. Um, so I had to <laughs> keep changing the end... So that it was, first of all, impossible to get Yoshi through. That's what these uh, conveyor belts are for. And then I also had to make it so you couldn't just do a, uh, a P-switch jump. Because that was the other thing that kept being done. So I put those coins up there so that if you jump off the P-switch, it uh, drops the coins and then you can't get through. Which I think if you use the POW block, you could kill the coins that way and then come back with the P-Switch, but that would probably be slower than just beating the level normally. And I forget why the munchers are here. They're there for a reason, but I just don't remember what it is. There was some other reason that you had to I had to like prevent something. Yeah, that was the level. Um, actually, I forgot to show off the hint room. Let me do that, because I'm in the editor, so I can just uh, drag Mario over. Grab. Grab. Eh. Okay. So yeah, this is a little bit of a convoluted hint room, but it shows the order of operations here. Uh, so you have P switch in autumn, Yoshi in spring, Pow switch in winter, spring in summer, and then take the spring to the end. And it shows the Goomba like bouncing up to get to the flagpole. I thought that was kind of cool. I had fun making this level. The, the arms race was kind of amazing. Like, let's. I think I still have the old version in here. So yeah, this is this is what it looks like now. And then in the older version of the level, let me just pull up the original one if I have it. This is version two. I I don't remember what version one was. I think the one I have uploaded is like version four. Okay, so this one was considerably less dick. I think the problem with this one was like Yeah, you could you could do the P, you could do the P switch jump. 
Let me actually let me actually try to play the level with the P switch jump and just see how fast it goes. Not optimally, of course, but like. I think I might have snagged world record on this. But like, well, I mean, you can't actually world record your own stage, but uh, yeah, you also have to jump through the gaps in the uh, in the boo ring for the best speed, which is a little difficult. The only person who has trouble reaching the minus buttons on the Joy Cons, um, I don't have to press it very often, but I think it is in kind of an awkward place, yeah. You only have one shot at this, but, uh, yeah, you can just P-switch jump up there. It's not that hard to do. You can also jump off a power block, um, but yeah, there were a few versions of this. The thing is, I don't actually know when I'm getting Mario Maker 2. I might not get it straight away, but we'll see. Okay, so let's do Action 52 level. And then, uh, canonical. God, this level is freaking amazing. I love this thing. <laughs> Wait, hold on. We, ha we, have to, we have to get the original death. Because if you know the trick, you have to hold left at the beginning. But if you don't, then this happens. Because it's star, star evil, so of course it happens. some of Vinny's levels. Eh. I mean, that would also require having working servers, which I might not. Oh, if you've not seen this level, then yeah. Yeah, we have Star Evil. There's a, this is Dam Busters. This one's pretty straightforward. The only trick here is if you go the wrong way, then you can't go back because auto-scroller. Then we have... Oh boy, Meong. Let's see if I remember how to get through this. Fuck. Ah! <laughs> okay. No. All right. Let's go. And here we go. Micro Mike. Best part. <laughs> I love the Micro Mike section. It's such garbage. Here's, uh, Underground. This one's just straight up a, uh, like, remake of the original level. It's not particularly interesting, but it works. The, uh, every one of these, every one of the games in here has, like, some kind of intentional bad game design, and this one is, like, the enemies spawning above where you need to climb up. Here we have, uh, we have Billy Bob. With, like, just a bunch of garbage that is way too hard to dodge. And Manchester, I think. Yeah. Just immediately take a hit, because you know why not. Nope. The doodle 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 would be pretty good, but yeah. So the servers are down. I can't play levels, so I'm just kind of doing my own. Probably. Alright, so now we need to get into the pipe, which is really awkward and stupid. There we go. Yeah, time warp checkers, yeah. What do you mean? Oh. 
Uh, there's a secret in this level, and I'm trying to remember what it is. Okay, yeah, there's a key there, and then... That's right, if you enter this door through the note block, it doesn't do anything. You just get, like, a secret disco dance or something. Can I get it without dying to this hammer, brother? I don't think we're gonna get it. Screw it, moving on. And the Cheetah Men section. Which is just everything else that you've already seen combined into one level. Of course, there was a Kaizo block there. Okay, I gotta show this part off. You fall in a pit and you're like, oh shit, secret secret section. What is this? And you get a one-up. And then you just die. Because it's action 52. <laughs> this is a good noise. <laughs> Jump if you can, but you must fight others. The Cheetah Men ran off, and now, the Cheetah Men. Love the random piles of bullshit. <laughs> Here's the final boss. You can't actually hear it, uh, because of all the other garbage going on, but, um, yeah, at the end here, it's, like, when you play the level when in its, in its uploaded state, the last noise is just a chirp, because the custom sound effects don't play, but, uh, I had it do the, like, intro to the game with the, just the, um, where was it? And then when you go in the door, it's just... I write your persuasive speech in? Uh, the effects of gasoline on fire. I don't know what you'll be persuading, though. Alright, let's do a few dozen tries at canonical, because this level's impossible. It's fairly luck-based, yeah. <laughs> I still don't know how I actually uploaded this level. <laughs> it's so goddamn bad. Um, yeah, hold on. It's somewhere. I moved it. Um, where the hell did I put it? Stole my head. I didn't steal it. Stole my head. It's right there. Where? Oh. <coughs> Andy is going to take you to cowboy camp with or without your hat. Have I used any of the amiibo costumes in any of my levels? Well, there were ten of them in the Action 52 level, and I have every single one of them in the Costume Palace, which I'll show off after this. But yeah, I'm gonna give this a couple shots. I can usually get up to the fourth red coin, it's just the ending is complete garbage. I mean, really the whole level is complete garbage, but it gets worse. Yep, every one of them. Including Fighterfly. How many people have beaten this level? Uh, I think like 10. I mean, there's harder levels out there, but this one's just really goddamn jank. <laughs> like... I just love how stupid it is. Ugh, fireballs, please. <laughs> I would have liked that mush that mushroom, but I guess we're not getting it. Okay. Close enough. 
So yeah, if you keep going, you get to the end, and then you have to get this last red coin from within the boo ring while dodging fire, and it's just kind of ass. But that's the level. No, there's no dev exit. I had to actually beat this level legit to upload it. Yeah, that level was an evolution of ideas, because I started with, uh, what if we just have a, like, a bunch of Koopas walking with, like, cannons, and you basically just have to, like, dodge stuff as they go through the stage. And then it turned into, what if you do that while they're on note blocks to make it even stupider? And then it just turned into, let's add as much garbage as possible and make it really, really hard. <laughs> so anyway, uh, the Costume Palace. This is a level that I spent a disproportionately long amount of time on. And it's all for a secret exit that has no point. And it serves no purpose. No one would have ever found it if I hadn't told them it was there. And it, it, it's horrible. So, um, but yeah, it has every single Mario Maker, or every single Mystery Mushroom costume. Because I do have all of them unlocked. I don't think there was ever a 154. I, I think Kelly and Marie were the last ones. Um, but yeah, the the way the level works... How do I get rid of this? Hold on. Just, uh, the way the level works normally, if you're not getting the secret exit, is it's just everything's arranged in a grid. All the costumes are in the order that they are in the editor. It goes in, like, rows of 10 or 20 or whatever it is. And, um, if you go in a pipe, then you can all, it, it, like, basically the level serves to show off all the animation. So I have climbing, I have swimming. Um, there's a, let me, let me, let me not wear the spring, actually. Let me get a better costume. Let's do Silver Mario. Um, well, no, I want to do a different one because uh, certain characters have different music when they get a star. Like, this one plays the Metal Mario song. And this here is basically meant to indicate if you go through this pipe, it takes you to the flagpole. And so if you go through here, then lo and behold, it takes you to the flagpole. But then you'll notice you can't actually get into the castle. Um, because there's blocks in the way. And for most people, that would be the end of the level. Um, this section here is like a mini-map of the section with all the costumes. Um, it's like fast travel, so this one takes you to like this bottom half. And all that stuff. Um, and that's basically it. But, uh, that's basically the level for most people. However, there is a horrible, horrible secret in this stage, and I'm gonna show it off. And I have done this on YouTube before, but, uh, I don't think I remember how all of it works, so now I have to, like, remember it. So, we need to find the Mr. Game & Watch costume, because it has a secret. If this had been made... After my obsession with Hadoos had started, it would have been the Hadoo costume. Actually, let me just save myself some time. Where is it? It's... Okay, it's right here. It's second to bottom. And it's the... Second section of pipes. Okay, where is the Hadoo costume, anyway? I think it's over here somewhere. Hold on, we gotta get that one again. Oh, was it in there? Oh, there it is, cool. Best costume. Uh, there's actually no costumes in Mario Maker 2. I like the little 
going. Okay, so anyway, let's start the level over again. So, second from the bottom, second row of pipes. Or, yeah, second section of pipes. There it is. So yeah, you can go inside this pipe to get a key, because you're going to need that for later. There is an indication for that, we just haven't actually seen it yet. I'm doing this to save time. So now we need to intentionally take damage in order to get the weird mushroom. Actually, wait. No, I don't think I want weird mushroom yet. I think that's later. Let me see. How does this work again? It's... Oh, good. I guess I'll just be this fucker. Because, you know, why not? Yeah, I needed to do this. Because, yeah, you, you slide underneath the spike, break the brick. Now you need to go back and get Weird Mushroom. So here's your hint that uh, there's more to this level. Because there's a hidden giant mushroom there, and we don't know how to get it. So you have to do this. Let's warp back to the beginning. This is also a mini-map. I love how complicated this level is. Now we have to be very careful to not get another costume. Alright, take you down here. So the reason you need Weird Mario is because he jumps higher than anybody else, so it's the only way to get up there. And I think, yeah, we need to not break that brick there, because if you break it, then you can't beat the level. So you go in here, get the checkpoint, now I think if you break these blocks on the right, there's a one way behind them, yeah, there's a one way, so that doesn't do anything for you. Our goal is to open up the cannon, and this block here indicates where the prime kicking spot is. Yeah, level has no music so that you can hear all the sound effects and stuff. So anyway, that was all to get a, uh, a spike helmet. So take the spike ba helmet back here. And now we need to get this cannon down without being crushed by it. So I think you need to time it when the platform is out of the way. What the fuck just happened? How did it get stuck? Hold on, what what was that? God damn it. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Uh, I need to clear something out in order to get a spike helmet. Can I borrow a spiny somewhere? I'll just get rid of this guy. Okay, and remember now I also needed a key that I no longer have, so we're gonna have to come back for that. Um, so yeah, we do this. Yeah, I think the trick is to not hit the muncher at that point. So now we're in giant Mario mode. And the purpose of this section of the level is to show off all of the uh, weird sprites that happen when you have the giant costume, because they're really odd. Um, I don't think I actually need to keep the helmet. All of these have enemies in them, but since I'm big, they're gonna... Um, yeah, let's like release a few enemies so you can see what they look like. Yeah, they all get, like, mustaches and hats and stuff. <clears throat> okay, so... Right now, what do you want to do? 
Let me go in this pipe, show what this does. So yeah, this is just showing off water enemies. And then if you go up here, you'll see there's a key there, and well, how do you get the key? Here's your hint. You wait for that to come back around, and then if you get that, then that's the Mr. Game & Watch costume, so it tells you where to look for it, basically. But anyway, uh, we cannot progress here until we have a key. So, pretending for a minute that I actually had a key... I don't even remember how the editor works in this. Key is a P-switch, right? Yeah. So that's going to be the Game & Watch key, just to save time. Um, if we actually had the key, you go in here and you find out you need another key, and you also need a P-switch. But then there's a hint on the left that tells you something else you need to do. <laughs> because there's blocks above clouds, and if you blow up the bottom one, you can get a P-switch from the top one. Is basically what that says. Let's watch that again, because it was cool. So, actually, I need to be not with this costume anymore. I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna keep the dev key by the other door because I kinda need it. Uh, where is this? Here we go. Uh, Weird Mario costume is by shaking the regular mushroom when in the Mario 1 style. It also has like a 1 out of 10 chance of spawning randomly. <clears throat> okay, so let's go back into this section. There's, uh, should be clown cars up here. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, here's this part. Basically, this is what the thing was hinting towards, because Giant Mario breaks blocks when you hit them. So if you break this bottom one, and then intentionally get hit by something, you can, uh, yo, shoot fire. You can hit the one on top of it. And there's a P-switch. Now for this one, I think yeah, I basically just need to book it, so... Yeah, you have to get into this area before the P-switch runs out in order to uh, get through here. Oh, fuck, I did this out of order. Okay, so yeah, you would do that, and then you use the key that you got from the Game & Watch puzzle, you use another key that I've not gotten yet, and then you do this. And now you have a uh, very stupid boss fight. I kind of love this boss fight, though, because it's the dumbest thing ever. Hold on to me. I'll go back and show where the other key was in a minute. It was actually just from beating Bowser Jr., but I thought you did that later. That's why I have these coin trails everywhere that give numbers, because I wasn't paying attention to them. But they are there for a good reason. Okay, can we get through this without dying? Because if you can just do this, then you basically won. This is... <laughs> good shit. to break this open. And, oh yeah. Oh, I forgot about this part of the level. Shit, okay. So yeah, there's a hidden P-switch above the buzz saws. God, I forgot about that completely. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was incredibly pointless, is what this spells. The entire this section here is there's not really much of a reason for any of that, but uh, you want to take this and uh, you can basically break through the wall while riding this thing. The entire purpose of all of that was in order to get giant Mario up here. So now you break this out, you do this, and then you have to break through this giant mystery mushroom thing. In a very specific way, I think. Um, is there another arrow down here? Yeah. This doesn't take forever at all. Okay, and now we enter this pipe from the bottom. Fuck, come on. And that takes us here. And is that actually a one-way? No. Oh yeah, because normally that would be blocked off, so you can't do it. Okay. So you do that, and then... Now we get the hidden P-switch, which is up here. Which one is it? Fuck. Is it this one? Oh, it's any of them. Okay. <sighs> What's the point of the piece? I don't remember what the point of the piece switch is. What was the point of the P-Switch? I know there was a reason for it to be there. Oh. Right, that's right. Okay, because yeah, the, the point of the P-Switch is because if you get here with the giant mushroom, you normally would just run into the pit, and you wouldn't actually make it to the castle. You'd just get stuck here. So the P-Switch drops the spring so that you can bounce out of the pit and break the blocks. God, I love how complicated the secret is. Anyway, yeah, the other key was just up here. Um, you just fly up here with the, um, with the clown car, beat Bowser Jr., and you get the key. It's not really anything too special, spectacular. I think there's like a death, yeah, there's just another way to get to the end. Uh, good stuff. Good stuff. Did I have any other levels worth showing? Can, can we not die? Well, yeah, I originally made the level to just be a costume show-off level, and then I'm like, well, I want to put in the big Mario costume, too, but I want to give it, like, a section to show off all the stuff that it changes, so then I made that, like, zoo with all the enemies, and then I'm like, you know what? I can make this dumber. <laughs> so I just kind of kept going. Torgo's Haunted Air Fleet. That was the level that I made on stream based off of, like, poll results. Uh... This was my very first level. It's not very good, but I'll show it anyway. In fact, I would say it's actually fairly bad. I can look at the ones that the kids made. I don't remember what most of those were. So you do that, and then you do that again, because clearly once wasn't enough. Ugh, good. Okay, I'm done. <clears throat> so we do that, then we get a 
one of these things, propeller cap. Then I think you need to break through these brown bricks. And you do this. Oh good, I died. Okay, so what would have happened there is you take the star up here, use that to get past all of this bullshit, and hit the block that's in this, get another star, and then I guess you would use the propeller cap to go underneath this thing while jump up here. And then there's like a specific, like you jump here and then you twirl. You just follow the line. And if you... Basically, like, if, if you're optimal, you can get up into this little section here. And it just leads to, like, some one-ups. But if you don't, then you just hit the flagpole, basically. That's the whole level. It's not particularly great. So let's see. This was a Martin level. This was a Martin level. They're okay, they're just not gimmicky. I like my stupid gimmicky levels. Uh, this was Justin's level, which is not great either, but it was okay, I guess. Let me look at it. So. Yeah, pretty straightforward level. What was the uh, underworld? Looks like I had a secret over here. I, I don't even remember much of this, but uh, that's about all we got for this one. Then this was another Martin level. This one was, uh, this is actually a pretty decent level. The goal in here is, like the thumbnail says, there's exactly 100 coins, so you can find that as an optional objective if you want. Don't feel like showing off the Torgo one. What even was this? I don't remember what the hell this level even is. Actually, I vaguely remember this being worked on. I don't know if it was ever finished. Good. Good. Oh. Okay. What? Oh, okay. God, how are you... Sp I mean, this isn't impossible by any means, it's just... This was a Martin level, and I'm surprised at how uh, unforgiving this is. I think we made this one on stream. I just, I don't remember, like, any of this shit. And we're dead. Oh, hey, Hadoos. Is that random? Oh my god. Apparently the Hadoos are random. I did want to make a Hadoo level. I never got around to it. And now I won't be able to because there's no costumes in Mario Maker 2. Is there more to this stage? That might have been as far as it ever got. Yeah, this level was never finished. Okay. Never mind then. I swear I hit the load button and it always goes back. Could not be more annoying. I think uh, it's safe to say why this one was never uploaded. I just wanted to make something obnoxious.
I can't upload it, crying face. I think this one was made by Joey. And I told him he couldn't upload it because it was bad, so that's why he named it that. Let's see what it was. So, okay. Uh, yeah. So, is this just a death room? Yeah, it looks like this is a death room. Okay. Well, I make a Beanie Baby level. I don't know what that would involve. <laughs> There's another death room. I wonder how you reach that one. Okay, hold on, hold on. We got something. Shit. Okay, hold on. I need, I need to I need to mute the level. Shut up. How do you uh How do you turn off the music again? There's like a sound effect you can attach to Mario and it, that turns it off. I don't remember which one it is. Good. All right, so let's uh, get rid of that. Is there actually a level here? <laughs> Is there a level to be had? So far, I'm thinking no. Alright, that was the level. Now, how do you get to the other death room, though? Oh, you don't. You can't actually go in that pipe. Wait. Yeah, there's no way to get into that death room. Good. <clears throat> okay, what else have we got? Here's, can you get to the castle? I think this one also has sound effects, so I'm going to go ahead and just preemptively put the mute sound on Mario, just in case. Of course there's cat paws. So far, uh, not sure if there's a level here. Okay. I, I think I remember what happened. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> I thought it was the last one, but apparently it's this one. Congratulations, you made it to the castle. And then let's on repeat. Congratulate, 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 congratulate. Okay, I've heard enough of that. <laughs> oh my god. This one has a little house in it, though. It's cute. Graduate, 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 graduate. Was there anything else to this area? No. No, there wasn't. <laughs> For the record, these were all made in, like, one night, uh, where they were visiting and were able to actually play this game. Here's Joey's horrible level. I think that one was Justin, actually, but yeah. <clears throat> Alright. What we got here? I 
I think this overly long platform was the reason why I called this one Joey's Horrible Level. Because, uh... You have to sit through this every time. You go through this, and then there's a part that's extremely difficult. God damn it, this is long. Alright. Oh, now we have another one, but this time it's fast. Okay, now what do we do? Oh, okay, Th this one was actually my own fault. Because I w I, I'm the one who suggested, like, to put the coin that you need the P-switch to enter the pipe. And... Oh, yeah, so I think the P-switch is just in one of these. Yeah, there we go. And then, uh... Oh, oh, good. Oh! Fuck. No, no, no! Okay. So, when I said that the, uh, and I blocked myself with the power block, um, when I said that the level was very difficult after the extremely long pointless ride. I guess I was misremembering it, but, uh, yeah, the long pointless ride was pretty good. Was that everything in here? I believe it probably was. Good shit. Okay, what was a hot mess? Oh. Oh, I see now. Shit. <laughs> Every level must be in the new soup style, of course. Mmm. Mmm! More clown car shenanigans. Man, these are some uh, empty levels. So far, I'm not seeing the hot mess. It wasn't good, but it wasn't a hot... Okay, no, I guess we're going the other way. Actually, I just kind of want to see. Where do you go? You just go back to the left. Is there even a way to beat this level? There might not be. No, no there isn't. Okay, good level. I think that's all I got. Oh yeah, here's older versions of these. Here's random levels that I've downloaded. Like Spid Run. Spid Run was a classic. God, what the fuck are these stages? I like the Escape Room ones, those are cool. Roguelike. This one was cool for anyone who hasn't seen this. Um. Oh, this was uploaded by Sea of Gaming. I didn't realize that. Um. This one's, uh, basically, like, you can go multiple paths, and it's random which ones you're able to take each time, because, like, RNG only allows you into certain pipes, basically. supposed to pick which of those I wanted. I didn't realize that. I 
course, this is fine. Know what I'm doing because I'm reading the chat. Oh. This is actually a good stage, so I don't know if I want to show off good stages. That's the problem. Sure, I'll, I'll do another run, though. No, I want to get a different result. No, I want to get a different result. see. What the hell is even going on up there? Oh. Back here again. Uh, let's take the spring. <clears throat> okay, this time this path opened up. Can't say I exactly know what I'm doing in this level, but uh, it is meant to be open-ended. Yeah, the block limit really is kind of dumb. I'm not sure why they have that. Do we know if that's been taken away? Man, there's some shit going on in this level. make a mistake? I think I made a mistake. I think I'm stuck. I don't know how I was meant to get that. Um, when I get the new game, I oh fuck, it. I think I'm done with this one for now. I said this is a really cool idea for a stage, and I did beat it at one point, but uh, I don't really feel like doing it right now. <clears throat> but yeah, when I get the new game, I uh, I never actually did make one of those levels that's like split into a bunch of chunks where you get a red coin out of each. Those are always cool stages. I should do one of those at some point, but I don't really know how much I'm gonna be doing stuff with the editor in that one. I feel like I'll mostly just play other people's stages. Uh, what else we got here? Super glitches world's always a fun time. Not sure if we really needed the Koopalings from Mario Maker 2, but uh, anything with more variety is always a nice thing. Okay, what do I do here? Oh. Um, now what? Oh. 
Oh, okay. I know, there it goes. I know there's a way to make that go somehow. sense to me. Ugh. Oh, I missed the glitch there. Normally that Koopa, after it comes out of the shell, it just kind of hovers here and you can like jump through it without it killing you. the disrespect block. And I actually killed myself with it. I did not mean to do that. The disrespect block is one of my favorite things in Mario levels. I don't know why. Um, I hope we get the weird mushroom power up. I don't know why we wouldn't. Let me explain why it's called... Oh, okay, hold on. This this is one of the best parts of the level right here. I'll explain the disrespect block in a minute. Um, I need to go into the editor to show what I mean. It's a long build-up, but it's worth it. Here we go. Now what? Oh. Oh. Want to try that again? Mm. I remember this part. This part kind of sucks. <laughs> and I think this is a forced death. Yeah, you just you just die here. So playing this in the editor does not actually let you enjoy the full level, because normally you have to die there and then. You, uh. Oops. When you respawn, the flag, like. Wait, what? Oh, never mind. No, you. Yeah, it's not. It's not to do with the respawn. It's just you go through the pipe and it leads somewhere different. So that's the whole level. Anyway, let me show the disrespect block. What the fuck? So the disrespect block, um, I think Carl called it that. I don't know if someone came up with the name before him. Um, but it's like, it's basically an anti-soft lock. Um, so like, usually when people submit levels for like professional players or like streamers or whatever, they'll put in anti-soft locks so that like, if you get stuck somewhere after a checkpoint, you don't have to restart the entire level. There's always a way to kill yourself. And the ways to kill yourself get, like, progressively more stupid. Like, in some of these levels, like, you have to go through really, really long processes to find a way to do it. But the disrespect block is, um, it, it's just this. It, it's just a block that slowly moves on a track and causes no problem, but <laughs> you can kill yourself with it if you need to. And I think the reason he called it that 
is because there was one at the beginning of a level, and he sees this thing, and is like, I'm never gonna die to this. Why is this here? This is, like, the most disrespectful trap. Like, you, ha you, you, you're basically acting like I'm gonna die on every stupid little thing you include, and then he actually dies to it at one point. So, <laughs> that, that, that's the origin of disrespect block. But anyway, um... Uh, but yeah, some of the ways, some of the anti-soft lock mechanisms are freaking amazing. Like, let me show one of my favorites. Um, get rid of these. Yeah, I think I think you want to do it like that. Or no, hold on, let me. I I want to make this as complicated as possible. So this isn't going to be, like, how it would be in a normal level, necessarily. But, um... Because, like, this setup is going to be kind of jank. But let's just pretend for a minute. Okay, so yeah, this right here is one of the most annoying things ever. And actually, let me shift all this down real quick just to uh, make sure it works properly. So I don't want it to, like, load in wrong. Okay, so you fall in the pit, and you can't jump out of the pit because it's too tall. So it does this, and you have to wiggle back and forth to make the boo very, very slowly come down to a point where you can kill yourself with it. <laughs> this is, like, one of the most infuriating things you can put in a level, and people do it all the goddamn time. <laughs> like, it takes so long to get this thing down. <laughs> but yeah, there's stuff like that. There's ones where, um, it'll be set up where there's, like, a giant fish jumping across the bottom of the stage, and you think it's gonna hit you, but then it does, like, a big jump over you, and then you have to wait for it to come back. That, th those are some of the most amusing parts of those levels, honestly. Uh, let's see if... Let's see if the server's back up. I can try to do a couple more levels. I gotta get ready to leave pretty soon, though. You could restart, but when you restart, you start at the beginning of the level, and this, like, this kind of thing might be after, like, the second to checkpoint. So, like, if it was a super hard level up to that point, you're not gonna want to do the whole thing over again. Also, there's the concept of CP1, which is becoming more and more common in troll levels, where you go through the level, and some at some point after the second checkpoint, um, you do something that funnels you back into the first checkpoint and makes you redo part of the level. It's not a troll level if it doesn't have at least two of those. <coughs> okay. So far, this actually seems reasonable. Yeah, I did see that Carl... Oh, shit. Is he gonna come back? Okay. I did see that Carl did a level recently that uh, actually duplicated checkpoints somehow. It was really glitchy. Are you really gonna make me restart the stage? He only throws one and then that's it. Oh, I didn't mean to skip it. Shit, I meant to do... Ugh, oh well. I wanted to actually see that level, but I wasn't paying attention and I skipped it instead of restarting. I haven't seen his most recent. I watched like two of his videos last night. He's been uploading them a lot recently. I guess I need a running start. Ten seconds is concerning, though. I'm gonna keep trying it.
That's a bigger jump than the others, isn't it? I think that I think that's one wider. Fuck. I'll give this like two more tries. I don't I I hate skipping every single level because I've actually not beaten a single level today. <laughs> but um some of these are just not fun. I'd rather see one with stupid enemy spam. Wii U not bad. Is that gross? It was rhythm heaven? What? Oh good, thank you. Wait, do I need to bounce off of that? Oh. Okay. Oh. I have to get a triple jump off of that one, and I don't know. Can you do triple jumps if you do midair spins? I assume the block is, a, is indicating where you want to do the first jump, but maybe it's not. Oof. Okay, this is doable. Fuck off. How did I ever beat Super? How do other people beat Super Expert, like, regularly? I don't get it. You can do triple jump spins? Okay, that helps. Shit. No, because I mean, like, they do, like, no skips, and, like, Pooh did all those challenges where it's like, I'm gonna play only levels from Mexico. And that kind of stuff, and, like, actually got through him. And I know he is, like, a way better player than I am, so I'm not saying it's necessarily a fair comparison, but... I also feel like half the levels they get aren't as bad as this. This is the whole stage. Screw this. Okay, I'm hoping from the title, being capitalized properly that this might be an actual stage. Oh god, it's fucking Kaizo. Do I have to do a midair? Uh, what am I even supposed to do? Okay, I have to bounce off that twice, grab the shell. Ugh. I don't know how to do shell jumps. I've never practiced them. See, I'd like to be able to do these levels. It's not a good time for me to learn how to do them right now, though, that because I have no practice with it at all. I mean, I think it's fine for there to be Kaizo levels, because I like seeing people actually beat them. I think they're cool. I just, I, can't, I don't know how to do them myself. Um, I don't think you can run into your own levels, but I'm not positive. Ooh, that's not good enough. Actually, hold on. How do you do this? What? No, you know what? Never mind. Uh, there is a filter option for no Kaizo. It's don't play super expert. Like I could be just playing on hard or something and not being not be getting these this many bad levels, but super experts where all the garbage is. And 
and are we crashing? Uh, I think we're crashing. Oh, wait, no. Bio Limb Teeth 03 Task. Task Jump? Oh, no. What does that mean? Oh, no. <laughs> what are we going to have to do? I might not. Oh, it's mid airs? Um, I don't think it's going to load the stage, so I might not have to worry about doing it. Yeah. Okay, I think we're going to miss out on that one. Well, let me... You know, let me just load up Expert. It's probably not even going to load any stages, but let's see if we can at least beat a few levels. Because I have still yet to do this in this stream. I'd like to beat, like, a few. <laughs> I don't think we're going to beat any levels today. Wait, it's still going. It said network error, but now it's still going anyway. And now it crashes. Well... Oh, wait. No. Maybe? No. Thank you, game. Hey, Paisanos! Yeah... This is basically Mario Maker. I swear, it acts like this almost every time I play it. Trash! I'm trying to think what else I want to do, because I could keep going for like another 20 minutes, but I don't know if there's much point to it this reason. I'm gonna load it up one more time. I mean, the loading screen is a reference to Mario Paint. Now, why Mario Paint had the people doing setups, I'm not sure. Ten minutes of Banjo Dreaming now. 20 minutes of uh, Dobotsu no Mori, however, yes. Now the game isn't even going to load. Okay, there it goes. We're going to give this one shot. Regular expert mode, not super expert. Because apparently even though I've beaten super expert a few times, it's not good enough. Does the game actually tell you how many times you've cleared it? Can I even get into Course World? Seven? Ooh. I thought I did way more than that. Well, I mean, at least that's proof I've done it at some point. <laughs> but, yeah. Okay. Give me some expert levels. Let me beat a couple of them. I can feel at least slightly good about myself. Oh, Dobotsu no Mori. It's the Japanese Animal Crossing for N64. You did a hundred of them in the first few days? Jesus. Okay, we've got a level. You are dead. That sounds promising. It comes to us from, like, Norway or whatever that was. Oh, 
God damn it. I was waiting to see if something would come out, and it didn't. And then it did right as I jumped. That was stupid. Why did I go up there? Fuck off. I was standing in front of the pipe. Nothing should have been able to come out of it. We're at the top of the super expert leaderboard, basically racing this Japanese guy for the top rank. That's cool. I wish I was better at the game. But again, in my defense, and like, not, not necessarily in my defense, but like, oh, you don't go this way. Okay. Um, but yeah, I hadn't I haven't played this game in like months. Oh. You know, I am going to I'm going to go ahead and call that uh not fair cuz you can't see what's down there and it seems kind of RNG based. Fuck off. <laughs> Let me get the mushroom. forgot the mushroom was there. That would have helped. Okay, let's just drop in on a grommet, and hey, what do you know? I got lucky. Like Super Mario Mild Irritation. It's like giant horse cock and tiny mouth, or whatever the hell the guy said. Uh, you do not have a time limit to stop Ganon in Breath of the Wild, no. If there was one, I probably would have reached that time limit in the time that I played the game, despite only going through, like, a sixth of the overworld. Oh! That shouldn't have hit me. Oh my god! I liked this path. This path had a point and was useful. Alright. Drop in on a grommet. Okay. Damn it. Okay. Those should not be able to hit me. Is there anything blocking my way over here? There actually isn't. Holy shit, I beat a level. <laughs> Someone alert the authorities. Didn't realize there was that big of a difference between expert and super expert. Unless I just got really, really bad luck with the other levels. Oh. a block? No, just perfect jump. Is it a perfect jump or are there hidden blocks? No hidden blocks that I can tell. I don't know how to do that. I'm not sure how you would ever make that jump. It didn't look like I was even close. Uh, I kind of really hate airship levels, just throwing that out there. They just have a tendency to always be garbage. Hmm, it's one of these stages. Pick a hole and win a prize! Oh, and this is a death pet. Okay. Block falls from the sky at 90 second mark. That actually might have been the case.
Stop that. Okay. Hmm. Well, the Hero's Path thing has, like, a timer on it because you can only record, I think it's, like, 200 hours worth, and then it stops remembering. So that's just showing how much of that you filled up. Damn it. The number one rule when playing expert or super expert levels is to never trust doors. And I feel like I've been trusting doors more than I should be. So far, they've, uh, not failed me too much. Oh, what the hell is this? Can he even hit those with the shells? What? Where did you come from? take this path. I like capes. Capes are cool. And we're back here, apparently. So... I'm now confused as to where progress in this level actually is. <sighs> Game? this way. <laughs> I don't want to skip this level because it doesn't seem that bad. Now can I actually keep this mushroom for more than like five seconds? as I've always lost it to this Hammer Brother. There we go. That was that, was really that hard now. Not that I really needed to keep it, I guess. Okay, this part was interesting. through this bit, which uh, seems like Softlock City if you don't get through it fast enough. Oh, at least that killed the enemies. Thank you, Wrench. Okay, we don't want to go in that door. Fuck off, game. Oh! Ooh, I don't like this. Mm. Okay. Actually, I would have liked to get on that cloud, but oh well. Okay. Really, game? I guess to be fair, if I hadn't hit that, I would have fallen to my death anyway. But that was just kind of like insult to injury. Disrespect wrench, yeah. Now, Hero's Path has nothing to do with anything else in the game. It's just there to show what you've explored. It wasn't even in the original version of the game. It was added in, like, free DLC later, so you don't have to worry about it. Mmm, that was me not paying attention. What time is it? 
I have to stop pretty soon. I say I try to beat this level, maybe one more, and then to give the stream a uh, farewell send-off, I'll try and do one more Super Expert level and fail. Whatever level I happen to get is probably going to be the last level I play in this game, unless I end up not picking, like, unless I not get, end up not getting Mario Maker 2 anytime soon. That was my own fault. Okay, forget it, not doing this level. And are we crashing? No. Okay, so far, nice simple SMB1 level. I'm waiting for the bullshit. This is a little bit of bullshit, but not much. This looks manageable so far. I do like how they're caging in the Koopa, though. That's pretty funky. Oh, damn it. Okay, this is definitely beatable. I just need to time that last jump better. Why did I miss that jump? I know why I missed that jump. It's because I looked over at the chat. I need to not do that. I wish I liked Breath of the Wild more. So I wanted to get into that game, and the sheer scope of it just ended up turning me off. Okay, let's wait for the other one to go back up. And go. Even if I had made that jump, I probably still would have missed it. I think I actually want to hit that one when it's down low, because there's the other ones like out of sync with it. This isn't that hard of a level. Do I want to get Mario Maker 2? I'm just gonna frickin' get angry when I can't beat stages. So I used to play this game all the damn time. Apparently I have uh, lost my touch quite a bit. Died of stupid shit. Go, go, and there we go. Alright, possibly one more. Yeah, I know the I know there's like a hundred pre-built levels in it. I don't know how interesting that'll be, but I mean I'll look at them. I was kind of joking. I'm going to definitely get the game anyway, but uh, I'm just making fun of my shittiness at this. I see. Was I supposed to be able to get that helmet? Because I certainly didn't get it. Oh, okay.
I actually would have preferred Fire Flower, but alright. Dear fucking god! Oh! fun. I like this. What am I supposed to do? I guess just go in and take the hit. And then... Okay. Good level. So, the trick to the level is, have a mushroom when you go through the door, and then just jump right. If you know that, then you're gold. do one more attempt at Super Expert. One level. That's all I need. One level. I've got ten minutes before I have to leave. And some of those minutes need to be spent, like, actually, like, getting my shoes on and changing and getting ready to go. So, I have probably, like, five minutes. Mario's Dizzy Spike Top Quest. I've got to say, from the first two seconds, this looks the most like an actual level that I've seen in Super Expert so far. Kaizo levels not counting, because those are also actual levels. They're just not levels that I particularly want to play. Actually getting a checkpoint sometime soon, that would be even better. Not that anything I've... Oh yeah, there is a checkpoint. Shit, this is actually a reasonable level so far. The game's being kind to me. I might actually beat this one. Unless it gets really bad in the second half. What's the catch? There's gotta be a catch. Also, can you soft lock up there? Oh, no. I think I need to do up there. Cause... Yeah, what is this? Wait, hold on. That is a soft... No, it's not a soft lock cause you died to the enemy, but it's, it's a trap. Ooh, this is... This is fun? Okay. No, this is alright. I don't want to, like, I don't want to become one of those people who, like, sees the slightest challenge, and it's just like, oh my god, what the fuck is this shit? I can't believe they'd expect me to do this. Why did I sign up for this? Those people are fairly annoying. We're still going. This has actually been a level. <laughs> this catch might be that Tucker didn't know how to spin jump, so... Okay. Also, that was a stupid loss of a mushroom. I'm probably gonna die now. Oh, no. There we go. Moles are always fun. They have really weird movement properties. Yeah, this, this honestly doesn't feel like super expert. This feels like regular expert. Can you spin jump off a of vine? No. How do you do this? This is actually a cool level.
Magikoopa I can do without your shenanigans. You have a level that's three screens long and it's in Super Expert. Are the three screens really hard? Or is it just like a normal stage? I don't know when I'm supposed to jump off. I guess here. Okay, are we coming up on the end? I feel like we're coming up on the end. Okay, so not only did I finally beat a super expert level, but I actually beat it on my first try without dying. I think uh, that's a good way to end. I should see what the next level looks like, just because I want to see how trashy it is. But I also don't want to, like, sour my victory. But no, let's see what it is anyway. We're going to see what it is, and then I'm going to stop. Yeah! No, th this might even be a fine level, but you know what? That's good enough for me. <clears throat> Other than the constant crashing, uh, this was somewhat fun. I honestly might even still do more of the game anyway, but if we get Maker 2, then we'll play that one. So, see you next for whatever it is I do. Next time, it's going to be probably... I'm trying to think of a really obscure... Al Alfred Chicken for Super Nintendo. That'll be it.